Ah yes, the Metroid series. What up, it's your boy Press Star Mark. Hope you guys are doing well. Shout out to the subscribers and I appreciate you guys' support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, stick around towards the end of the video. Um, got a nice special unboxing. So I'm just here today to give the Metroid series its flowers because over the two games that I beat, which is my first Metroid game that I beat, is Metroid Dread. What an adventure that game was when it dropped. I already had it pre-ordered. I was watching this game like crazy. Um, but uh, before we get into all the good, the Met I never really kind of messed with the Metroid series all these years ago because I was just like, they weren't for me. It wasn't until like I tried Super Metroid. I think you know, I'm playing it on a Switch. And, you know, that's one of the games I still want to beat is Super Metroid. But I never really got into the Metroid series because I always get lost, frustrated, didn't know what to do, and then I would just end up dropping the game. But uh, like I said, uh, gave Metroid Dread a shot. Super hyped for the game. Got stuck, got lost, went through it all. I ain't afraid. I kind of I look up a guide, somebody just kind of point me in the right direction, and then the adventure will continue. But um, Samus has grown on me over these past couple of years with the uh, with the Shadow Drop release of Metroid Prime Remastered, which I just beat a few days ago. And that game is a is an amazing adventure as well. But uh, we'll talk about Dread first. Like I said, super hyped for the game. What an amazing adventure. The graphics for this game which is amazing. The, uh, the power suit, Varia suit, gravity suit. Uh, the way they did the storytelling for this game, simply amazing. And um, it's crazy because I've been sleeping on the Metroid series for years, and that's only because I never gave it a chance. And that's the. That's just who I am when it comes to games. Like, if I know a game's gonna be trash, I kind of just stand on it. And you know, I'm, I'm I'm getting older now, so it's like I'm trying to branch out my game my gaming catalog. Uh, but it, you know, it's kind of you know I'm embracing the change, but it's one day at a time, one step at a time. But uh, this game was truly amazing. The story was amazing. Uh, I've died so many times playing this game, but it never deterred me from dropping the game. I remember when this game came out, I was recording it upstairs in my room. I wasn't down here in the basement in the studio recording, but uh, I couldn't get enough of it. I was literally recording the game with no commentary, which I still regret to this day. But, you know, I streamed like I streamed Metroid Dread like twice on my channel. Like I'm still new to Twitch, so I've been over there. So you can catch me over there. Probably going to be streaming whenever I like because I don't have to edit or anything. But, um... Uh, I remember when I was uh, recording this game off the uh, off my capture card with no commentary, but like the I went through it all, man. The smiles, the frustration, the devastation. I even me dying a bunch of times. Never, it would just it just helped me learn my enemies. And, you know, just how the game slowly, how the game kind of just throws you into a world where no help is like. For me, it's like. I'm starting to like these types of games where they, you know, it kind of teaches you some stuff here and there, and it's like, all right, man, off you go, enjoy the game, you know, kind of gives me like that Breath of the Wild series where, you know, after you leave the cave and you get that very nice, vast, open scene, it's like, go where you want, do what you want, enjoy the game, we want you to have fun, tell your own story, but have some fun along the way, but, um, this game is amazing, man, uh, I'm definitely doing like a second playthrough whenever I can. Y'all know me, man. Like when it comes to me in game, and it's very hard for me to stay on one game at at, at one time because I'm always just kind of, what can I do today? And it's like I don't, I don't know why. Like I'll play a game for like maybe one or two days, and then I'm like on to the next. Like I I was literally recording um some stuff off off my Twitch channel, and I was like I switch games every two days. Like I was literally playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land doing another playthrough of that and now I'm playing Pokemon Coliseum it's like okay but you know that's how it is but uh this game is amazing wonderful you can't get enough of it it's uh truly I even uh since now I've been back on Twitch I've been watching people speed run dread like crazy and I can't get enough of it it's a few people on Twitch that I watch on the daily and they speed run this game to the death and the, the stuff that I've been seeing them do has been just amazing how they're beating the game without gravity suit without most of the power-ups Samus needs 
they're literally beating the game with just the Varya suit and a, and a few essential power-ups and they're making it all the way to uh, Raven Beak and they're beating them and like I was watching these speed runs and I'm like this can't this can't be true and I'd be in there typing in the chat I always like to kind of uh, when I hop in Twitch, I always say yo. That's like my opener for anybody who I jump on Twitch. I say yo, and then I kind of chop it up. I mostly hop in lower people streams. I do not do high people streams. It's like me saying hi it ain't gonna be seen. I always kind of jump at the people who got like maybe like 20, 20, 30 people slide in there, and, and then I vibe with them. But um, seeing these people speed run this game and like they're they're doing it constantly. I know people that just. They get on, they get on Twitch, and they just speed run this game, and they're just trying to be better. They're finding new ways, and you know the speed. Run, shout out to the speed running community because you guys are doing your thing over there. <laughs> people are, uh, people are, uh, like I don't know, like you know, like I said, shout out to the speed runners. I know I'm kind of getting off topic here, but uh, you guys are amazing. Like to be able to just hop on a game daily push yourself to new heights or if somebody finds a new route shout out to y'all but um i think i talked enough about dread dang i'm gonna really have to shorten up this video because i know it's gonna be short but that's okay i can do all the editing there but um let's talk about the uh, the, the day that we the nintendo dropped the direct and they shadow dropped metroid prime i bought it instantly that was a no-brainer for me i'm like oh another metroid game let's uh let's buy it so you know, and it's kind of weird because I have Metroid Prime 1 and 2 in my GameCube collection and those who don't know, um, my pop, shout out to that man, you know, raised me right to the man I am today, but when he bought my, I remember that the GameCube has a very special place in my heart because it was the first system that, you know, I, well one of the first systems that like I truly own for myself. It was really my first one I truly own for myself, yeah it was a GameCube Humor brother, we still shared the N64, but um, my pops bought me the GameCube, and I had two games he bought me with it. He bought me Metroid Prime, and he bought me Wario World. I played the hell out of Wario World. I barely touched Metroid Prime. I think I put Metroid Prime in for like 10 to 15 minutes. I'm like, uh-uh, this ain't it. I think I even traded it as a kid. Stupid move. I know. Don't bash me in the comments. I was a kid. We all gonna do some dumb stuff. But um, years later, I was able to get Metroid Prime 1 and 2 off the internet. I think I got Prime 1 off Macari. I think I got Prime 2 off eBay a few years ago and add them to my collection. But, um... I'm happy that I was able to do that. Played through uh, Metroid Prime Remastered. I recorded the first video. The rest of the game I streamed on Twitch. And then I just exported my videos to my YouTube channel. But uh, that game is, you know, I think Metroid Prime is Samus's first jump into 3D, 3D gaming and the whole environment. And uh, me playing that remastered had me stuck. Just like how Dread had me stuck. Like I was literally waking up. Like I would literally stream, like I would literally stream myself playing Metroid Prime Remastered, wrap up my stream, you know, thank the one or two people that kind of that always came by to the stream and uh, support me, and you know, and I appreciate it, you know, you ain't gonna grow overnight, but I'm having fun. It's it's a nice little break, and I do and I won't, but um, I would get done with my stream, and then I would watch other people play, but I didn't want to watch people that were playing that were ahead of me like i would watch them i would always watch people that were playing like the same pace as me and if they were and if they were to pass me up i would get off their stream i'm like all right bro you're getting further than what i am and i don't want to be spoiled and they and they would agree with me they'd be like oh bro you know oh mark yeah go ahead get off the stream bro like experience the game for yourself and, you know i'd be telling them about how i did how i had prime and all of that you know how dread was my first game and it's just and I'm slowly becoming a Metroid fan. And they'd be like, yeah, man, don't watch this. Experience the game for yourself. And so, uh, Metroid Prime Remastered. Game had me stuck like crazy as well. Like I said, I would do my stream, do my export, send it over to YouTube. Now I'm laying in bed. Now I'm watching, I'm watching like four or five other Twitch streamers play the game that I just closed out for today to the point that where... It would uh, they would literally fire me back up to go back downstairs and stream again. I think one time I woke up at like three in the morning and streamed Metroid Prime, and I was like, "Why am I up?" But 
I, I, I wanted to play the game and, you know, I just kind of follow my instincts, you know, do what I want, do, do what I can, and, you know, do what makes you happy. But uh, I'm truly, slowly becoming a fan of this series. Uh, you know, we all, we all reach things in gaming at our own times, like I said. Y'all know me, I'm a huge fan of Zelda, so that mostly kind of takes up my things. I'm super hyped for Tears. You know, I'm kind of branching on my stuff more and more. It's kind of sad because, like, I've been on my Switch like crazy. Like, I haven't been on my PS5 since Crisis Core Reunion dropped. And it's like, I'm not in the... I still haven't beaten it because it's a remaster. I played it on PSP two or three times back in the day. And I'm in no rush to beat it. And, I, and plus, at that time when I was recording Crisis Core, I was burnt out on YouTube. And I took a break. I'm like, I need to just... I took a month off and I just, I was just playing stuff for me and then I came back. It's funny how anytime I burn myself out on YouTube, I always kind of come back because it's a nice way to keep my brain off things that might have bring me down and stuff. But, uh, the game's amazing, man. Uh, wasn't expecting Metroid Prime to pull me in as much as it did. I mean, the boss battles were just challenging and they were fun. That Omega Pirate. I think that Omega Pirate killed me like four or five times before I finally figured out what to do with it. Uh, I love the different beams. I think my favorite beam was, you know, they make you use the the wave beam for the wave beam and the power beam for a good chunk of the game. So pretty much, I fell in love with the wave beam. But when they gave us the plasma beam, oh my god. I, I literally was plasma beaming everybody, especially them jetpack space pirates. You hit them people with like four or five plasma beams and they went down. The wave beam was just kind of, you know, like a little shock, shock one, kind of held people in place. But um, I couldn't be happier that the endeavors that this series has taken me on. Um, I want to say... Uh, battle with uh, Meta Ridley on Metroid Prime was fun and challenging. You know, I beat it on the first try. I almost died. Like, if the battle would have went on if any longer, I would have died because it took me a minute to figure out how to damage him in the second phase. And I was like, bro, what do I do? <laughs> and then I'm like, like, I had to realize, like, once you get super missiles in a Metroid game and you fight a boss, those are, like, the go-to. Like, me, I'm over there charging up shots, and I'm like, I'm like, all right, it's either bouncing off him or he ain't doing nothing. But uh, once I figured out that, it was like, all right, cool. We can move on to there. Um, the little rock boss, he was annoying. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. To, to be honest, it was kind of weird. That was, like, the one boss boss that threw me off out of all the bosses in Metroid Prime. I was like the first boss, Flagra was fun, amazing I like the I like the design concept of it um, the rock boss just threw me off because I'm like how you go from that to this I'm like this is just a bunch of rocks stuck together and, and I'm just like I was like ugh and then I had to remind myself, I'm like, it's Nintendo, because I'm like, every Nintendo game has like one or two bosses that you kind of just scratch your head, like, like how y'all go from this to this? Like, explain that. But um, I wanna um, did, uh, when I beat Dread for the first time, it was wonderful, amazing feeling, and I didn't think that you know that I would reach like that feeling again playing another metroid game you know i knew prime 4 was around the corner but we barely hear anything about prime 4 and you know i know you know i'm 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 cool with being patient and you know and all of that but um you know wasn't expecting you know i did hear through the grapevine that we were getting a metroid prime remaster and i'm like you know, for them to shadow drop it on that day was just purely amazing. You know, I'm just happy. Shout out to all the Metroid fans. And I hope that a few of you guys can be able to interact with me in the comments section. And kind of, you know, give me some tips and love. And, you know, like, you know, kind of welcome me in. Like, hey, bro, I'm proud that you made it. Like, like our girl Samus ain't no joke. And it took me years later to find out that it was a chick and that Samus was a, was a woman the whole time. I'm thinking it was a dude in there. And they're like, nah, bro, that's a chick. I'm like, wow. Took me. I think I didn't find this out till I was like a teenager playing Melee. <laughs> but um, wonderful feeling. Uh, this game was just crazy, man. Um, 
you know the the 2d style zeldas that i mean 2d style metroid games are amazing like i said you know me playing dread and you know i did dabble in uh, super metroid but i always kind of get flustered and stuck which is a goal i want to even set to go back and beat metroid or even maybe even try Met metroid fusion but uh but uh for metroid prime being uh metroid's first jump into 3d they did they did they did a, they did a fantastic job and this remaster just made the game look so much better in so many ways man i mean just everything like i was sticking to twitter and people were like screenshotting the game like this is amazing Ooh, this and that like, i didn't really hear nothing bad about the game when it got shadow dropped people were just so amped to play it like you know i went you go on twitch and like so many people were playing it to the point that like i would I'm weird when I go on Twitch and I watch people. I never watch the people who are streaming the game that got the most viewers. I always scroll down to the bottom and I and I'll, I'll jump in a smaller streamer's stream because nine times out of ten, in my opinion, they be more entertaining than the top streamers. Top streamers they just be in there playing the game and I, you know, they can't really pay attention to everybody that's in the chat. That's why I always go down to a smaller stream because you can say yo, and they be and they be you know, hey, what's up, my man? How your day going? Ooh, you can chop it up with them. Big streamer, that ain't happening. You say yo, you just gonna get passed up in the line. Everybody else talking. I ain't fighting for a place to be in your stream, but uh, that's just me. <laughs> but um, this game, man, both games, truly, truly wonderful adventures. Um, I couldn't be prouder of myself. I was super proud when I beat Metroid Prime Remaster because like it still felt unreal for me. I was streaming the game and I beat it, and I was like, damn, did I really do this, man? really do this like it still felt unreal for me you know when i beat dread i was like wow man like how can you top this game like how can you top this game and then i went to prime remastered and i was just like wow like they were really in their bag back in the day for the gamecube for metroid prime one and two and i was sleeping on this like i look back like wow i was really sleeping on this man really sleeping on this but um goals i want to set for myself i do want to beat a third metroid game to kind of complete out the trifecta and now that you know we have nes games on the switch super nintendo games on the switch we just got game boy color and game boy advance games on the switch so my options are open to a plethora of uh metroid games i do still have my wii u which i'm gonna put in here because i have metroid zero mission on there metroid prime trilogy and i have metroid fusion and then i even have physical copies which you're gonna see on there because i'm just showing love to the metroid series giving it its flowers that it so deserve you'll see this little metroid wired wired controller that i have for switch that i haven't opened i had it for a few years now mint condition and i don't even think i'm gonna open it but uh I just wanted to give my uh, opinions and thoughts on the Metroid series and me slowly becoming a fan now since I've been sleeping on this game for so long and I just you know it all in all due time and things happen for a reason man but uh you uh, like the video like comment subscribe man um, making 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 content is I've you know as much as it burnt me out frustrated me I've been learning to just make make it fun make it fun for myself if it ain't fun then it shouldn't be done and that's usually the reason why I always kind of take a break and take a back from take a step back from content creator because if it's feel like I'm doing a job and it's not fun and I'm burning myself out to get the next video out then it ain't fun and it shouldn't be done now I kind of do things at my own pace now I kind of treat myself I come down here when I feel like it when I want to do something we just do it we just act on instant hey man you want to stream today cool hey man you want to record cool but uh this series is amazing man and uh it's a blessing that it's able to you know fans all over the world are now getting uh, it's, it's a blessing that Metroid is now getting the flowers it deserves the fans the longtime fans are finally like putting their people on like I told you man like this shit you know this game is amazing like you should have been playing this and um and I'm all for it man I am looking forward to Metroid Prime 4 I don't know if I'm supposed to play Prime 2 and Prime 3 let me know in the comments below but uh, like I said, I do have the trilogy on Wii, but I don't want to play them with motion controls. 
I would rather just boot up Metroid Prime 2 for the GameCube and just need the player player re- record it. Oh my god. But um that's my that's my thoughts, man. That's my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'm out of here. All right, so yeah, excuse my mic. This is my better mic. It, uh, it broke because my other mic it damn near be picking up the uh, the wind from the uh, furnace that be down here, making it sound like I'm recording in a damn jet engine. And this one has a pop filter all over. I'm probably gonna just order another one. But um, for those of you who stuck around for the end of the video, we're gonna do this unboxing. So, um, so. For me celebrating, me beating two games, Metroid games, I had ordered two Metroid themed disc plates. Yeah, I know me, huge disc plate collection, none of my disc plates are open, but uh, we just got a simple one today. I'm going to just put this mic down. I already got the box open, so you ain't got to hear me struggle. I just threw up some to just have y'all look at these three games. I just picked these up uh, yesterday. But today and yesterday, I had actually bought an action replay from my local game store and I had to return it today because it didn't work. I thought I was going to be able to, you know, uh, put in Fire Red and Emerald and just, you know, just boost my way through some stuff. But it's cool. I ended up picking up Donkey Kong uh, Returns 3D and just for the 3DS. But uh, let's uh, check these display out. Let me just set this mic down because it has no stand. show you how to put up the display it's pretty nice got the gloss on it so it's gonna shine up shout out to the artist you know but uh metroid's growing on me man so uh that's why i wanted to grab got me two little gifts for it i'll probably upload this video tomorrow or some other day but uh yeah man slowly becoming a fan man me two games and, you know got me two little nice little souvenirs for it hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe don't forget to follow your boy on Twitch. I do some stream. I'm getting, I'm slow. I'm still new to streaming, but I've been streaming over there, man. I'm just having fun. But uh, you guys can catch me over.
clear. So you have to look at it again. Man, that'll be easy. I'm out.